everyone. Welcome to another episode of We Watched a Movie. My name is Jackson. I'm here with Colby, and we just watched Camp, Camp X-Ray. X-Ray. <laughs> that was a really interesting movie. Yeah. Um, I kind of like the military vibe that it showed on Netflix. Like I saw it, and I was like, oh, Kristen Stewart playing a soldier in Guantanamo Bay. I would love to watch that. I mean, I was kind of down for whatever. Just looks like, looks like a good yeah, movie. just to I, like, watch. I like political stuff, and obviously, see, poli sci. I feel bad because I'm actually not very knowledgeable in the yeah. political field or like anything military, and I want to be, mm-hmm. and that's why I'm just trying to branch out more. Yeah, but I mean, Colby and I, we both came from military like families, mm-hmm. so we know like a little bit. I yeah, I saw. I remember I watched uh, American Sniper, mm-hmm. and that. Mm. Uh, I had to walk out of the theater. Yeah, a little bit, but See, other okay, let's, let's just okay. Let's do the rundown. So okay, Camp so X-ray, <laughs> Camp X-ray. Kristen Stewart plays a female soldier who had just been deployed to Guantanamo Bay, a section of Guantanamo Bay, Guantanamo Bay called um, Planet. Not Planet. No, it was uh, Camp, Camp X-ray. X-ray. It was called Camp X-ray. It's based on true events, and mm-hmm. um, basically she ends up forming this bond with a prisoner. No, 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 detainee. Detainee, yeah. Okay, so one of the, in maybe the first 30 minutes, you realize that um, if you know anything about Guantanamo Bay, you know that there were a lot of um, war crimes that happened. Actually, in the first shot of the movie, it just showed a slow zoom in, zoom out of the 9-11 news reports. I don't know. That that was pretty haunting. I like how they did that. Like, it, it's kind of where it all started. You know, 9-11 was like kind of the start, like this, not like the start start, obviously, because there's decades of war and conflict in that area that we have interfered in but Mm -hmm. um uh 9-11 was kind of like that standing point like that stopping point like this is where the war on terror starts like was given a name started like yeah it it was made more public yes definitely but in the movie it shows i like okay the first five minutes i love point of view like shots in movies like i'm very much into cinematography and i like how in the first five minutes they just showed like what the prisoners or the detainees where they were taken to and it was just like uh the camera wasn't moving i don't really know what that shot's i don't know what the shot is called but like basically the camera follows like like, 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 oh yeah okay yeah and like okay sometimes like an actor or an actress will put like a camera like holster on their waist and the camera will automatically follow yeah yeah, any movement so i kind of like that point of view in the beginning of the movie um but it was it was pretty dramatic, like from start to finish. Yeah, basically. like they just um just grab this dude out of his home for no reason. Mm-hmm. So it was just it was very sudden, very, very sudden, it shocking. Like it, like it grabbed your attention, like right, like right as right the movie the started. Like, so like yeah. that was, I guess, directorial decision to mm-hmm. do it the way. Oh, uh, speaking of the director, the director is uh, uh Peter S- Satzler. And he apparently had written the movie as well, so yeah. it, you had said that it was his directorial debut? I think so. I honestly think he did a really good job. Like, I, I do enjoy like, independent films because there's a lot more like originality and creativity yeah. to it than the movies that are coming out nowadays. Like, don't get me wrong, like, we've been having actually some pretty good movies like come out in like 2016 and 17, but there's also most of them are like hit or misses and yeah that's why i cut like it's it's I mean, nice it's to turn to to appeal to like a broad a, audience for the most part so you have to have some you have to have some stuff that's dumbed down like this i don't think this um i don't think this movie would be re- well received in like commercial audiences because um it humanizes the prisoners and people don't want to like humanize the enemy mm. oh yeah so, no, it's it gives like a, you, you have to sort of like already like that genre of movie yeah. to actually watch it so it's for like it's definitely for a certain audience but i've always watched like those military kind of movies because yeah. my my father um is, is in special forces and my stepfather is also in the military so i i can relate um that's why i just kind of always been interested in it like at one point in the movie i uh, kristen stewart was running down the road in her pt clothes and i remember as a child i would always see my father come home in his pt his shorts his army shirt and his yellow uh reflector belt and yeah. I, it just like kind of it was just it, like, it, it like was oh yeah like that's yeah. all i have to say in the movie the characters that are introduced so it one is the commanding officer of their their uh platoon I wouldn't really say like the team that the people the guy who was in charge of checking on the detainees and like he, he was like he was he was a commanding officer yeah but he was just uh, his he was, character he was such a jarhead like mm-hmm. your stereotypical jarhead and I was like actor played his role but that role is just but, so mm-hmm. but other than that and the so the main character uh well obviously it was, you know Christian Stewart and yeah. we were talking about how she made a bond with 
a detainee and his name was Ollie. And he actually, like, from the beginning, you wouldn't really tell, like, they were going to be such close friends as, like, like their characters' like, interactions. He, he was trying to, like, she was, okay. So she was just doing, doing her job. Kristen Stewart. Kristen Stewart. <laughs> okay. I love Kristen Stewart. I love you, K. Stewart. Like, you're amazing. But don't do it. <sighs> Your face. <laughs> Emote more, please. And this is how her face works, and it like, it like I t- like I said earlier, played to their sh- it played her strengths as an actress because, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, like, as a soldier, you have to yeah, sort of yeah, have that that stoic edge. kind of mm-hmm. like. But the way that they interacted with each other, like I like she was a bitch to him at first. Well, you like, have to be. I mean, I they, mean, they yeah. basically trained them. So like like de- like I said, dehuman dehumanize yeah. the detainees, and this is because they were like there for a purpose. Yeah, and but they they, they were. Really Purpose. No, they weren't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As the story went on, I really liked how close the characters got to each other. Not necessarily like in a relationship sense, but like yeah, I'm glad that they did. He, the that's one of the only people thing. who has given him the time of day to just actually yeah, talk to like him. Yeah, like it, it, he, like it, in the army, you're trained to like. Sure. Like you said, recognize them as like they're they're not human, but you dehumanize. Like okay, like in the army, you go through a certain point of training. Like you have to reach like certain mental oh, yeah. breakers to be able to you know kill somebody, like be able to dehumanize someone. And, like, so so when you see that breakthrough of the like, humanity yeah. through a soldier, yeah, like, in a movie, like, uh, I I like that. I like that they give. It's just more character development. Yeah, like that's that's how I see it. Um, but they uh, the movie honestly like all overall, I really enjoyed that movie. I love I like the characters in the movie like. It's it's kind of hard to keep a, a plot interesting when it's only like two characters that the story really revolves around, like passengers, the Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt. Anyway, that's a different story. But anyways, but as a whole, it was it was given a like seventy five percent rating on uh, Rotten Tomatoes, right? Mm-hmm. And honestly, I feel like yeah, it deserves that rating because it's a, it is a decent movie. It's it's a good movie. The storyline's predictable. <laughs> Like it's it's it is what it is. Like it's predictable, but for what it is, like the actors themselves, um, it's still carry the like it wouldn't have done as well as it did without the actors that they use. Thanks for watching this video. Tell us what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Marker. Okay, we're just gonna go on like a very like a fangirl moment right now, but there was a, there was a hey, character in the movie. Yes. Okay. Uh, his name was pause. Rico. His name was Rico in the movie, but okay. But he was very, very let cute. Let me look at who he was. Oh my god. I don't really what what is his name? because he, he's an army wife. He's too. a oh his name is JJ Soria. Very handsome. Yeah. Man. Oh like, I he, mm, bruh. Just look him up later.